Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. Welcome back for a new video here on the Jules and Jules YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, let's just talk about one last crystal to finish off this beautiful Pisces season. And that crystal happens to be the beautiful, the one, the only green fluorite. And we'll also talk obviously about rainbow fluorite. Uh, so yeah, this is the last one, then we'll move on to area season, so that will mean areas crystals. So let's finish off with the beautiful, the one, the only fluorite. We'll talk about what is fluorite, um, what, what is it so popular, what it is known for, the zodiac sign associated with it, the chakra side of things, and a few little stories and tips and other things you might want to know about fluorite just for you in this video. So let's get started. Fluorite is obviously going to come in different ways. You'll find it in um, clusters like this here. You can see with those beautiful cubic natural formations, which are, which are just alien looking out of this world. I can never get my hand around how can something like this be created by Mother Earth. It is absolutely crazy, isn't it? And you will find it in other ways too. But this one, if you have some fluorite, but you don't know that it's fluorite, look at this a cubic formations. They have to be like that on, on a cluster like this. And then you're guaranteed that it, it's definitely some sort of fluorite. It comes also in different colors. So you can see here purple, green. Uh, fluorite also comes in blue. It comes in yellow. There's different shades, you know, which can be sometimes a bit confusing for a lot of people. But yeah, that would be it. And uh, fluorite is very popular because it connects with different chakras, especially green fluorite combined with purple is very powerful that way. You're going to have a beautiful connection between the heart chakra up to the third eye chakra. And what does that mean? That means connecting your actions with your heart, connecting your mind with your heart, allowing your mind to listen to your heart. And that's what I love the most about fluorite. It, it doesn't just cleanse and stabilizes your aura and brings you focus, concentration, balance, which is what most people would know fluorite for. But even more so than that, fluorite is that beautiful energy of... Um, yeah, just developing those intuitive abilities, linking, linking, um, allowing, allowing us, sorry, to link ourselves to, uh, to our spirit in some way, and really balance those energies, be more positive about about those energies, and just overall balance both physically and mentally. That's really what I love the most about fluorite's energy, and especially if you combine the green with the purple. Here you have some uh, bracelets here that I'm wearing. Uh, you can find them as well on the website, and uh, definitely, apart from that, what usually fluorite would be known for. Uh, would be obviously, you know, the, the, that sense of concentration and focus. It's a great crystal if you're a teacher, a learner, if you're just, if you're working, whatever it is that requires focus, concentration, uh, you know, stability, uh, self-confidence, and also decision-making, this is going to be the perfect crystal for you. You know, and then general grounding and harmonizing energy is very much so what fluoride would be known for and associated with. And apart from that, because you know me, I love a little bit of ancient lore. I love sharing some stories with you guys. Fluorite is one of those crystals that, funny enough, has been used since the beginning of times, yet people did not realize it was fluoride because it comes in so many colors and shades and, and formations. People didn't necessarily realize at first there was fluorite. But to make it simple, fluorite was used actually by um, people in ancient Egypt, would you believe, to uh, to use the way it was used. They were using it as carvings for uh, statues of gods. And also in ancient China, fluorite uh, was actually carved into vessels funny enough which is very interesting so you might find you know if you visit for example you know like any museum that would be holding Chinese art you know or Chinese sculptures don't be surprised if you see a little bit of gemstones used or fluorite for example and uh, apart from that uh, it was used because it was a substitute for jade back then don't forget that jade we talked about it before was the main sacred gem in ancient China, but fluorite, funny enough, 
was used, I suppose, because it was, you know, definitely um, not seen as important as jade, but also because it's more common than jade, so it's more affordable, so you can do more things with it, which is why uh, fluoride was very popular back then for that purpose. Apart from that, uh, it was very popular as well and used uh, by, um, obviously, the Romans, the Celts, the Britons, the French, the Germans, <laughs> the American Indians, and a lot of other uh, a lot of other people were actually very much into fluorite from very early stages, um, because I suppose just to, it's just a beautiful gem to have, and uh, they were carving it into so many different. Uh, beautiful sculptures, statues, art, totems, talismans, you name it. And uh, it was, it's really cool sometimes if you get a chance to see that in some, uh, in some museums that would have, uh, you know, like um, decorative items made out of those uh, beautiful gems. It's very interesting to see what was made back then and how these beautiful gems were like very much so uh, celebrated and uh, and their beauty really was put to the test and was pushed to to the max and was it's so it's so enriching and uh, and interesting to to see that and apart from that fluorite obviously if we go back to the zodiac fluorite is going to be wonderful for pisces but also for capricorn and uh, more so it can work for everyone else if you do not have any pisces or capricorn in your birth chart that's fine you can still go for it if it feels right if you feel that the crystal connects with you like to be honest with you i don't have any pisces in my chart and um you know i still go for it because i just love I just love the energy like just by looking at it it really calms me so definitely uh, go for it even if if you're not Pisces or Capricorn basically and apart from that I would say that if you decide for example to go deeper into your work with fluoride because yes you can do a lot with fluoride because fluoride is connected more so with the upper chakras you're dealing here with a gemstone that's very good for meditation any type of work that's going to be related to that sense of connecting with your consciousness and uh, that sense of uh, spiritual energy uh, that connection to the spirit fluoride will be great to help you in that journey so definitely don't be afraid to uh, take out your fluoride or wear your fluoride bracelet while you're for example meditating or doing any type of practice that would be along those lines and see if it can help you in any ways i mean it is after all the crystal of focus and you know concentration so it should help <laughs> and uh, if i was to give you one affirmation that really sums up fluoride and that would be a great idea of a journal prompt with fluoride or a meditation with fluoride it would be something like my mind is clear and i am ready that's literally what fluoride is in a nutshell so yeah that would be kind of it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section below what do you think about fluoride is it a crystal that you have yourself i know most people would have some at home and uh, if uh, if you don't well just let me know you know is it a crystal that maybe you're planning to get your hands on it's also lovely as in jewelry don't miss out on that and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, also don't be afraid to let me know what you would like to see in my upcoming videos because i always love to hear your feedback thank you so 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 much guys for watching as always and i will be talking to you tomorrow see ya